The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, folks, uh, we're going to start out here with the Christmas wheat. Uh, we were watching this yesterday at the close. Yeah, if you remember, let's get down to an eight-minute chart because we were looking at, we had a triple top up here. You can see here we stopped. Uh, that was a 1.27. This was perfect symmetry. We'll just draw this in to see what's going on. These are come, some of the things we're going to be doing on Friday. Friday is going to, should be a real exciting day, folks, because we've got that crop report coming in, but it's an hour after the show, but we'll have all the numbers for you uh, tomorrow on where we think the buys are going to be. Well, I'll give you a couple of them today here, but uh, that's what we're looking at right now. Now, we've had a pretty good move down from this level. This was the area to get short. was at the 382 right here at 91. The high was 94. Your stop would have been above here. It now has a, a considerable profit. Now, if we just move this over just a little bit, we're already below the 382 of this last low uh, two days ago. Okay, that's a good sign because we went down to the 50% level. We're sitting right there. That's a good sign that it could still go uh, a tiny bit lower. Let's just take care of wheat. Then we'll move on to a couple others that uh, need to make a little bit of sense here. Now, those of you that were listening to the show yesterday, uh, you remember that we let's just do the quick daily here. On the um, there was our ABCD right here at 2088 in the uh, uh, Russell, and it Russell has broken down. The low has been 2153. Interesting today, if you were looking at the Russell on a little bit of a shorter time frame, you'll see that the high today so far was a 382 off of the high that we made back in here. It's a very powerful thing, folks. So got to pay close attention to it. But this thing could reverse at any minute. We've got Shane Smullyan as our guest talking to us about uh, some of these things on the cycle end that he looks at it. So we're paying very, very close attention to that. Now we're going to take a look at the big daddy rabbit over here, which is the Christmas corn. And we made our first objective. Let's get this up here. Okay, get the daily up. Um, this one has it, uh, you know, hasn't really moved a lot compared to the others. It's only gone 45. It's gone 45 cents to the upside. Uh, we we recommended taking the profits here at 490. That was the big ABCD of all this stuff in here. So I recall, I think that's where we were. Yeah, 4 490. 491, we got out at 490, and now we're looking for what's going to be a correction. The problem, folks, is this. The last correction that we had here, we went from 481 down here. We dropped 20 cents. But, folks, that took two weeks to get down there. Okay? Now, this market is not in a two-week mode anymore. It really isn't. So you've got to be prepared. Two things have happened. We've had a breakout in wheat hurting Mr. Putin. Oh, how sad that is. And then we've also had a big move in soybeans. We've had a 80 cent move in beans, all uncharacteristically seasonal. Usually the seasonal starts sometime around June 1st, but knock on the ward, book on folks. We're at May 8th right now. So what we're going to be watching here and this the report is the World Green Stocks Report, and it is the big one. It's a all, it's got everything in it you could possibly ask for. Weather, supply, demand, a whole bit, and the whole industry is looking for it, and they're looking for a friendly report. <clears throat> I got that from Mr. Rich Anderson. He's going to be on uh, Friday morning early uh, for me at the show. I'll do the do the, the trading, and then at uh, uh, 1 to 11. Oh, dear, you know, I won't be able to do that. No, 8 until 11. Nope, I won't be able to do the show because I'll be doing the um, – I'd be doing the live trading, but I'll give you the information if you're in the live trading room. I'll, I'll give it to you tomorrow, too, so if someone will remind me. <clears throat> They're looking for a bullish report. Now, two things are happening now. We've had a really strong move here, contrary to anything anybody thought. The whole world was bullish corn down here. Now they're saying, well, maybe not so bearish. And they were really bearish wheat when it was down there a dollar lower, all right? And nobody thought beans could get to where they are. That's telling you that they're nervous. And the reason why they're nervous is because the 
the crop in that one county over in uh, – it's a state – one county over in um, Brazil is having still having problems with the harvesting. So we got to be really alert to what's happened. Here's my two cents worth. For what it's worth, if you take the low back at this level right here and draw your line in right here, eight cents lower right here is the 382 of the whole move right in here, 473, okay? Now, here's where it's going to get interesting. If this report comes out as really bearish, and I may it might, okay, this is going to go through here like melted butter, and it could come all the way down here. So you can't risk any more than where you are right now. You'd like to see it be just really close to this level here when the report comes out. When you put your stop in, it probably will get run by 7, 8, 10 cents if it's wrong. But if it's right, holy moly, guacamole, this thing will be on fire. And that is what I don't know. And what as we get closer to it, this is just Wednesday, so we got two days of trading before we get to that report. And it comes out at noon, New York time, which is 9 o'clock in the morning my time. So that will be, wait a minute. New New York will be right during, oh, this will be happening exactly when, boy, these time changes get me screwed up. It comes out New New York time, for, New York time, which is 9 o'clock, and our day trading thing is from 8 until 11, so we'll be able to do this. Forget all this. We'll figure it out this out as it happens. What we'll probably do is it's going to be so crazy that you're going to have to take a, take a sophisticated wild guess at something. Now, what I would do and this is if it's really and we have a pretty big correction here off that that tells you that this is a pretty good a b c d that that tells you that for sure okay so we're gonna have to wait we got an all day trading today and a little bit tomorrow and then we come in on friday we're gonna see where we are if we're setting in here on friday i'll have to be tempted to say well i might have to take a you know sophisticated guess on that and what you'll do you'll have to put a 10 cent stop in and you might get you know, you might look at that. You might lose a thousand dollars, but if it's right, oh dear, you could be looking at something really big. That's where the risk control comes into a major report. It's better to wait till after the report. That's most probably what I'll do. I'm talking myself into a trade that I really shouldn't. It's better to wait till after the report, because even after the report, there's going to be wild gyrations, people trying to figure out what happened and all that stuff. But this is a big one. It'll be exciting, and I'm looking forward to it. Now, let's take a look here. Oh, here's another one we've got here that is starting to uh, work in the direction that we like. Hold on one second. You'll see here. This is the soybeans. Remember I said yesterday, this is our first sign, okay, our first sign that we're having a little bit of trouble. Now, I said right here, I said, you remember – when, and I said, you broke, this was yesterday, remember? I said, when you get down below this, this is the first time if you bought that breakout, okay, that would be the first time that something's wrong, and that's when you might get out of Dodge. See, you're breaking out, breaking out of the highs all the time in the weather market until yesterday. Now we've got to figure out where we're going to go, and we're going to do that next. So stay right with us. 877-927-6648. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. 
This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom daily as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, a little bit of history here. This is Beans going back over the last six weeks or so. And uh, I just wanted to re remind us that these markets repeat over and over again. This was the, the historical work on this. The mathematical work was done by Andrew Lowe at MIT in his book, The Non-Random Walk Down Wall Street. Wall Street, Soybean Street makes no difference. But you'll notice here that we have these similar moves down. You notice like this and like this. So the last major move we had here in soybeans was from, uh, it dropped 30 cents. It dropped actually 35 cents and the harmonic number in beans actually is 36 cents. So there is the number you're gonna be looking at. So you put that thing up here, right here. All right, now what you'd like to do, and this, this is just, see this is what I think is gonna be happening over a period of months. I think this is this could be the one that takes beans back to where they should be up around seventeen, eighteen dollars. So this is what we're going to be watching. If we get a move like this and it backs off to exactly where we think it's going to, right here, and you measure it from your high to your low, where does that take you in, boys and girls? Right there. I I don't care what that report is. I'm putting an order in right there. I am, and I'm putting my order down in here. I'm going to lose a thousand bucks if I'm wrong, but I'm afraid that uh, it, you know, this is a, this is one of those reports. I can't say this on the air, but I'm almost tempted to not use a stop on it because no matter how bearish that report is, this market is going higher. One of my business most revelations of a trading guru or a genius was when we were trading on the floor with Byron Tucker. I was working with Byron. Byron was running the office for Delsher Commodities, which was Leo Malamud, who was the chairman of the, of the CME and everything, and he was the one that ran the whole thing. And uh, there was a report coming out, and it was a big report on money supply. Years ago, money supply was even more important than the jobs report that we have going on here. And uh, holy moly, no more Skypes, please, Shane. Uh, anyway, till anyway, this is what this is what was happening. And he he gave a huge order to buy like 50 contracts of uh, T bills at at a certain price. And Byron says, uh, you know, Leo, he said we got the report coming out. He said it doesn't make any difference. He said this market's going higher. And uh, sure enough, it didn't make any difference, and that market exploded to the upside. That's how I feel about this. Maybe it's wrong. 
I, it's a it's a it's a perception of looking at the markets for all these years. I have a bullish bias. The market is bullish. You can see that it's flat out bullish. So I'm going to be. I wish they had a mini bean contract. I don't even know if they do or not. But if they do have a mini bean con contract, I would buy that one and not put a stop because I don't see them going into new low grounds. I don't see them drop more than thirty cents from the high. That's how I look at it. So I'm going to explain to the folks if they're still here there. Now if we're below here. As we come in, we've got all day today, we got all day tomorrow, and a little bit of morning time uh, all night on, on Friday. But if we're anywhere in this area right here, if we're right here on that report, I have to buy it. I have to assume that my, and I have to put a stop in, I will put a stop in, I'm going to put a 20 cent stop, so I'll, I'll do it at 98, and I'll put a stop at uh, 98, 20 cents would be 78, which would be right below here. So I've got to risk about. I got to give it below the 618 a little bit. So you got to risk about 25 cents on that. Your stop would be down here at about 1175. So 1175 would be 23 cents would be 1200 dollars. Well, if you made a lot of money on the way up here, that's not going to be a big deal. So that's it. Now the second thing that we're going to have to be looking at, and this work we're going to be doing before Friday to get ready for it, is the fact that Rich gave me some bad information. He said he said it was 12 o'clock New York time, and he he's under medication, not really, but uh, he did have some surgery, uh, and he uh, said that it's closed. And by gosh, it's not. Here is the soybean meal. There's December soybean meal. Now that should be coming down also. And look, you see, it's coming down. Even less. So here is the soybean meal. Now let's do the same thing and look at the hourly chart. And you're going to see another one that is way up here. Now remember, the meal is 80% of the soybeans. Okay, so here's our low right back here. All right. Now there's your there's your low right here. Your 382 comes in uh, down here. That's only $10. That's just that's equivalent to... Uh, 20 cents in beans so that's not uh that's not a big deal either so there's the spot for the uh to lick it taking a look at this okay now let's do the same thing let's measure to see if andrew Lowe had anything to do with soybeans we'll just mark this off i hope you like this kind of stuff folks because i could do this all day long in fact that's what i'm going to be doing there's your answer right there bada bing bada boom billy ray that's what you got to do may not work but by golly you got something to shoot for now let's take a quick look at the soybean oil i did a little trade in that this morning and i'll show you how i handled it okay we'll get up here just a second this morning when we came in i was showing you remember i said to watch for the 382 retracements that we have here and we had one here last night let's just clean this out so you can see it real easy all righty uh, this is really it has given me some good information too. There was our first 382 was right there, okay, and that should tell us the A B C D should have measured. Let's just measure it. A B C D should have measured to 4561, and the high was 4558. Misses by three ticks. I bought it here because it was a 382 of the whole thing from going back to here right there this morning where was it there right there i bought it here at this level right here at uh bought it at 80s where i bought it risking 30 pips and it took off and ran up and made almost 600 dollars. and when it took this out and made the abcd that i said well i didn't go short probably should have but anyway that's what uh that's what I was looking at here. So that's the kind of stuff we're going to be doing for three hours. Hopefully, we'll make a couple of bucks, and uh, we'll have some fun, uh, you know, looking at some of these things that we're looking at. Here's another one that looks real interesting here, folks. I'm not sure what's going to happen, but you know what? Nobody else did either. This is the chart that Enzo uh, sent us from uh, – uh, Italy, and you'll notice here. Look at their last 382 right up here, exactly at the exact 382 of this whole range, folks. Going back to May, excuse me, April 27th. There must be something to this stuff, right? But look at each one of these things that just were absolute beautiful trades, and we're going to try to find a few of those uh, as we work through some of these today. Now, Shane Smolian is going to be our guest. He's got some stuff talking about this big cycle that we had uh, with all these planetary things happening here on the uh, 6th, 7th, and 8th with the with the new moon, of course, uh, yesterday. And whether they means much or not, we'll have to remain, remain to be seen. But I hope you can join us on Friday. 
uh, text uh, or email Jacob at TFNN. It's uh, $250 a month. You get six hours a month of live trading. Uh, second Friday, first and se second and fourth Fridays every month, and um, so far the response has been pretty good, and we've made some money each time. Uh, sometimes we've always made way above the $250 a month, but on the 12th we've made a lot of money, several thousand dollars, and then on we made about a thousand dollars on the 26th, and who knows what's going to happen on the 11th. I think that's the day. Nope, it's the 10th. That's eight o'clock in the morning, uh, New York time. We'll be right back, folks. 877-927-6648. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly Gold Report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. If you spend any time online researching trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey, you've no doubt come across many folks who push Forex trading as a way to make big money quickly. Unfortunately, there are equally as many stories of these so-called Forex professionals just looking to make a quick buck off aspiring traders without actually teaching the ins and outs of the Forex market. This is what sets Teddy Kekstack's The Tiger Forex Report off the riffraff. Every Monday, former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member and author Teddy Kekstad releases his Tiger Forex Report newsletter, where he dives into the complex world of Forex and takes time to actually teach you his methods that have made him so successful in the fast-paced and rewarding world of Forex trading. Furthermore, all subscribers receive access to archived live streams of Teddy's, where he provides university-level education to help you in Forex trading. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Forex awaits. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the newsletters tab. This portion of Trade What You See is brought to you by Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the direction. Visit Direction.com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Okay, folks, we have um, Shane Smolian, TheWolfTrader.com on the line. Shane, how are you doing, my friend? 
Hello? Uh, what happened to Shane? Hello, hello. Oh, one second. Oh, I didn't see that. You never show. Oh, way up at top there. Oh, sorry, folks. Shane is having a little bit of trouble with the uh, audio, so let's uh, let, let me continue on here. Uh, regarding the, uh, I guess I have made a mistake. I think the trading thing is going to be between nine and twelve on Friday. We haven't been able to change that, so uh, we will be doing it from nine a.m. to twelve. We're going to be right on the air right before that report comes out, so we'll have these things lined up. Uh, those of you that belong to the 24-7, I will be sending you the video out uh, Thursday night for early Friday morning to what we'll be looking for for support and resistance and a strategy. You might want to, uh, you know, uh, do this, uh, get this straightened out. Anyway, we're going to try to set this up so that uh, the best time of trading, folks, for, from my perspective, is from 8 in the morning until noon I, those four hours is what i really look for i hardly do anything after that but what i watch for are these reports that come out because there's a lot of emotionalism we saw that and when the fed came out fed are the greatest reports because they 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 run the whole show because they've got you know billions of dollars behind it several hundred traders they can move the market in an instant as you can tell and you've got to be prepared for that but some of the other reports like the green reports the fed has no interest in that stuff and that's why, you know, they're easier to trade and, you know, you get some surprises. And this is one of these reports that's coming out. It's a World world Agricultural Grain Summation or something like that, W-A-D-S-E or something like that, and it's uh, World Grain. Years ago, you know, we, we had squawk boxes. In fact, the reason why they call CNB squawk box is when Mark um, Haynes started running that with Sue Herrera, you know, 30-some years ago, everybody these, at these brokerage houses, and in fact, we had one at Drexel, they had one at Conti, they had one at uh, uh, the uh, Grain Place across the street, uh, the Roy Long Street, I can't remember the name, uh, Clayton Brokerage, all, all of those had the squawk boxes. I don't think they have them anymore, but the, those were people that were on the floor of the exchange, and uh, we will get you, uh, you know, we'll... They'll figure out what – I'm reading two things at the wrong time, folks. Anyway, what it'll do is it will tell you what is the expected market move. Now, we see this when they have IPOs and stuff come out. You know, the IPOs are always moving around. The same thing was true with the squawk boxes for the commodities. And I wish I could have had those recorded of the days when it was one of the wildest days ever, the one in June of 1986 when the uh, – Let's try it again, Larry. 1976, when the soybean report off of Reuters said the only soybeans that we'll find will be in the Smithsonian Institute. That's how strongly the supply demand said we were out of soybeans. And they opened, they were supposed to open four or five limit higher. They opened two or three cents higher and were immediately down and went limit down for several days before they finally found some support. But that that's all that's all history all we're doing is reviewing this stuff that's going on and doing the same thing well, evidently we're having a little bit of time so let me get back on the air here and bring up a chart so that we can at least uh, get some work done here on some of these other things that we're going to do here get this up here and then as soon as we can go live here I think we'll be okay let's this not where I want to be live I want to be live here and here's where we are right now and uh, let's see where we are here. What were we talking? We were talking about the soybeans and the soybean meal. So here, let's get back to the soybeans. Folks, I don't know what the report's going to say. And as I look at this stuff, I don't really care. Let's see. Someone's trying to ring me again. Let me see if there's – anyway, th this to me is a setup that you – remember, we have a, a major, major report here on Friday at noon. That's 9 o'clock Tucson time. That's right when we're starting the show. I'm going to be buying. I don't. Maybe the soybeans will be here by then. Ah, I think we have the wolf trader in the pack now. Shane, are you there? Can you hear me, Larry? Billy Ray is in the house, and so is Shane Smolian, the wolf trader. Let me get rid of my charts here, and we'll put you up so you can take over the show, my friend. Sure. 
Okay, make sure you show that bio, the biorhythm on corn, if you could, please. I will. I'm going to start out with that. Can you see that on okay, the screen? Okay, great. Yes, sir. Okay, so this is uh, this is the, the super biorhythm on corn. So these are longer-term patterns that I've built. And so this has tracked corn very nicely off of those lows uh, coming in off of uh, March, April. So we've been talking to our subscribers about this for a while. I mean, I, I brought this to their attention a few months ago. Now we're coming up here. You did talk about this pullback coming in here. So what I like to do is I like to increase the resolution on this. And we can keep going deeper and deeper on this. But what I'm going to show you is another chart here that looks a little bit crazy. But it actually makes a lot of sense once I, once I explain this. So let me just explain what's going on here with the corn. So you can see this longer-term cycle is still building into here on corn like this. This is still happening. But what I want you to look at here is when these when these super biorhythms start to congregate here. You can see here in April, there was a, you see how there's many lows here in, in April? Larry, can you see that on the chart? Yeah, yeah, I see that. You see yeah. all these lows coming in here? So what you want to do is you want to you juxtapose the larger-term super biorhythm with these these lows into here so that that was the the, the place to buy here on that the second the, the higher low in april now we just came into a region here where we also had a, a a confluence of highs into here on these smaller term super biorhythms and and this is corresponding right now with this pullback here however we are still in this big uptrend which you which you are identifying with your with your patterns uh, but the next big confluence here on these comes in around early june so, uh, you know, it's it's possible that it could pull back and still keep going higher and then come down into June. But the, for me, is what I'm looking at here, we're just coming off of a, a few highs into here. There's three of them stacking up here against this bigger uptrend. So I do think that probably in early June is going to be the next buying opportunity here or maybe a little bit before. I mean, maybe a little bit into to late to late May, but somewhere maybe. in this region it's here. That's what I'm looking at. Possibly Friday at nine o'clock in the morning. <laughs> On the report, right? <laughs> yeah. That's a that's, Sorry. that makes the Fed AI. meeting look like nothing. Those grain reports, those are those oh are no 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 no. Fed reports don't even compare. The Fed, the grain reports like a drop in a bucket. Compared, they they might move two three thousand dollars most. I mean, they move they move five thousand dollars. We moved a hundred. We moved a hundred handles in the S and P. So yeah. you know, they're not they're not the same. For for the grain traders, they are, but not for the rest they, of they the normal can, world. They can they can be quick crazy though. Yeah. They can be wild. That's that's for sure. Okay, um, uh, real quick, I talked to you, we're kind of starting a little bit late here, so I'm going to jump into the S&P here. I had Wait, talked gotta, about it. You got to gotta pay, pay a bill right now. We'll sure. be right back with the Wolf Trader himself from Miami, Florida. We'll be right back, folks. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening Call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom daily as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market 
giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds from both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to Direction. Dot com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Normal risk, but I think it has the potential to be, you know, really great. Now, let's play the devil's advocate. Let's say that it's a really bearish report, and it goes all the way down here and all the way down here, and then it turns. Boy, you're going to have to be watching it like a hawk because... It will be on Friday, so we'll be able to watch it like a hawk. So there might be two trades here. Might be a trade here and a trade here and a trade here. But below here, that means that they've washed everybody out and something has really changed in the market. And, uh, you know, these beans are not going to go higher. So who knows what the report's going to bring. But stop and think, folks. We got inflation. This has not had any inflation. Given Look, look where we are on a weekly basis, folks. This thing is nothing. There is no inflation here. See, this is what we just hit just now. There's our big number right down here. We could hit that, 1081. That's down a buck and a half from where we are right now. Then it would be bullish. But that's not there. But look at that. That's a, that's a, that's a Gartley sell signal right there. And there's your A, B, C, D. And that's why you you know, you know got to get ready to see if it's going to hold this level or not. Now, this is the weekly. So let's uh, let's pay close attention to it. You see back here? This was one of those same type of reports. There it was right here, last May. So stay tuned. We'll be tomorrow. Stan Harley's our guest. May God bless.